In today's lesson, we'll explore the fascinating world of systems and understand their purpose, inputs, and outputs. Systems are all around us, from the technology we use to the biological processes within our bodies. By the end of this lesson, you'll have a better grasp of how different systems work, and we'll be using food processing systems as our example. A system is a set of interconnected components working together to achieve a specific purpose or goal. In simpler terms, it's like a well-organized team with various roles and functions. Every system has a purpose. In the case of food processing systems, the purpose is to transform raw ingredients into edible products. The purpose of a system clarifies why it exists and what it aims to achieve. System inputs are the resources, materials, or information that a system needs to function. In a food processing system, the inputs include raw ingredients, like fruits, vegetables, meat, and grains, as well as energy sources, such as electricity and water. Outputs are the results or products that a system produces. In food processing systems, outputs include processed foods, like canned fruits, frozen vegetables, packaged meats, and more. These outputs are the desired outcomes of the system's operation. To understand systems better, it's important to recognize that they consist of interconnected components. In a food processing system, these components might include machinery, workers, quality control measures, and various stages of processing. Now let's dive into a practical example to see all these elements come together. Imagine a food processing plant where they make canned tomato sauce. The purpose of this food processing system is to transform raw tomatoes into canned tomato sauce that's ready for consumers to use in their favorite recipes. The inputs in this system are the raw tomatoes, which are harvested from farms. Other inputs include water, salt, and various spices to enhance the flavor. Energy, in the form of electricity, is required to power the machines that process the tomatoes. Labor is also an input because workers are needed to operate the machinery and ensure quality control. The outputs of this system are the canned tomato sauce products that you find on store shelves. These cans contain the processed tomato sauce ready to be sold to consumers. With this food processing system, we have various components. The machinery includes conveyor belts, blenders, canning machines, and packaging equipment. Workers play a crucial role in monitoring and controlling these machines, ensuring everything runs smoothly. In conclusion, systems have a specific purpose, require inputs, and produce outputs. The example of a food processing system, like making canned tomato sauce, illustrates these principles in action. Remember that systems are all around us, and understanding how they work can help us appreciate the complexity and efficiency of the world we live in.